Try it. It is so easy for that flowing water to pick up a car and flow it downstream very quickly, and it becomes a very dangerous situation really quickly as well. The dangerous situation in, uh, continuing in Central America, you can see it here. This is actually a satellite recap of Ada, and I want you to take a look at this. Look at how many hours Ada set, off, set offshore here before actually making landfall. All of that tropical moisture just continued and continued to pump into Nicaragua, into Honduras, as it just sat there. So you can see why the rainfall totals were really able to add up and then put on top of that the fact that it was a Category 4, the absolutely destructive winds, and you just have a recipe for disaster. This is rain... rainfall over the past three days. Take a very close look here at the northern coast of Honduras. This is a mountain range that's oriented really east to west. And you can see the location of uh, Ada at this point. So we're getting that circulation around the center of low pressure. We've got northerly or yeah, northerly winds coming north to south across that east to west facing mountain. And you're talking about feet of rain here. When you have that enhancement from the topography, it makes it very easy to squeeze all that rain out of the storms. So right now, Ada, still a depression, winds at 30 miles per hour, really not moving very much. Uh, really likely it will become a non-tropical low or a post-tropical low, uh, but it is expected to regenerate once it emerges off into uh, the Gulf of Honduras, into the Western Caribbean, and then it is going to speed off uh, toward Cuba as we head into the later part of the weekend. So Alex,